Manifesto 14 is a multifaceted and multidimensional festival. While there were events and activities that highlighted different genres of culture such as performances, visual art and food, did you know that reparatory justice for the CARICOM region was also an area of focus? The CARICOM Secretariat had a section in its booth dedicated mainly to providing persons attending the festival with information about reparations, its importance and reasons behind why it is being pursued. The booth was being manned by youth from the region, including youngsters from the Ikemba Youth Movement for Reparations out of Guyana, who shared with us the purpose of the display and the response they got from visitors. The purpose of the Caritam Reparations Commission booth is to raise public awareness and consciousness to persons at Carifesta 2019. In addition to that, we would like to involve persons in the decision-making process along the way. So we would just like to get feedback from persons, what they think, what are some suggestions that we can um, learn from them moving forward in the movement under the CARICOM Reparations Commission. I do feel as though more and more persons are beginning to talk about reparations, especially around the, the younger community, because they didn't know so much about it before, before they came to the booth, and now there's so much that they can talk about. All the persons, they knew about reparations, but they didn't know what we are doing regionally. So now they would have received that, and now they too are on board and asking, how can they get in contact with their national committee of reparations? So they're asking that sort of question, and the young ones are also asking us, what more can we do to ensure that we get the cost to them, or to ensure that they can establish a group in which they can also advocate for reparations. There was also a panel discussion on reparations entitled CARICOM Reparatory Justice, More Than Just Money. The event was part of the CARIFESTA Symposium, Journey Round Myself, which was held at the UE St. Augustine. The panel was moderated by Dr. Hilary Brown, Program Manager for Culture and Community Development at the CARICOM Secretariat. She said one of the purposes of having the panel discussion was to make clear what was on the agenda for CARICOM in relation to the reparatory justice movement. She also used the opportunity to explain the reasons that the governments of the Caribbean community decided to pursue reparatory justice for the CARICOM region. That the historical and crippling legacy of centuries of enslavement and its attendant dehumanizing ideology of racism and blatant disregard for the human rights of African people is fundamentally at the core of, of the contemporary reality of persistent poverty among the majority of people of African descent. And it was recognition of this damage and the exploitation and systematic extraction of the wealth of the Caribbean to fuel industrial advancement and development in Europe while simultaneously retarding our development that led the governments of the Caribbean community to take that historic decision in July of 2013 to pursue reparations from the former European colonial nations. The featured speaker at the event said the campaign for reparations sent a profound and invaluable message to all that there will be no impunity for those who commit crimes against humanity. Our reparatory justice campaign must see us articulating and advancing an ultimately directed process in which we level demands at the liable governments and institutions for compensatory money payments. Yes, money is important. Money payments, inclusive of funds to finance a repatriation scheme, but also developmental and debt cancellation programs, transfers of resources, and international institutional reforms that all go to make up a package of reparations payments. Of additional note was the contribution from the youngest discussant on the panel, 
Kibwe Copeland, president of the Kemba Youth Organization for Reparations from Guyana, who noted that while the reparatory movement was not only about financial compensation, it was still an important component. Let us not be fooled by those who intend to continue to suppress us, using the several medias and manipulated narratives to cut the branches that we have worked hard and continue to work hard to grow off of our growing tree. The organizing case. Because reparative justice is much, much more than one. But for too long, we have been discussing and deliberating on such an important issue that has scarred the history of mankind as we know it in small potholes and conferences. It is time that this issue takes its place in the room of policymakers. It is time that this movement and its engine to push its work to attain great success be heavily invested in. So money is needed, but money just like water added to flour to make roti is an ingredient that is needed for it to be. The Caribbean Reparations Commission is a regional body created to establish the moral, ethical, and legal case for the payment of reparations by the governments of all the former colonial powers and the relevant institutions of whose countries to the nations and people of CARICOM for the crimes against humanity of native genocide, the transatlantic slave trade, and a racialized system of chattel slavery.